Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, uh, Comrade Hawks here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, make, how to rig in Blender. First person, first person animation. It is not hard at all. So first, you want to get your set of hands. This is for the IK model, by the way. So bones which look like this, okay? Which which look like this, not those, you know, just line kind of bones if you get what I mean so what you're gonna do is you're going to go into pose mode or whatever just Im import a weapon whatever it is just import your weapon so this is my weapon it is just one weapon as you can see so you want to just align it boom there you go so uh, it looks very small, doesn't it? Uh, that's what she said. Uh, so you want to just go over like this, scale it in edit mode, so it doesn't mess anything up. Make sure it fits the hand, or else it's gonna look silly. Yeah, that looks good. Now you wanna put it up here. So now it'll look like this, yeah, you just press A, you select everything, you just want to move everything here, this may be not aligned, but that's, that's fine, just put it, try to align it, well don't do this, this is just messing your whole game up, so it's like, uh, yeah, it just messes your, messes your animation up. So, why did I say game? Did I just say game? If I said game, I'm retarded. Uh, so, it's like, yeah, you want to lift it up a bit like that. Now, you want to position your hands, okay? Well, not yet. Click onto your gun. Go to this uh, area to make vortex groups. So I don't know how to say it. So, you want to go into edit mode which will give you these options over here you want to name your first vertex group gun assign it you can call it whatever you want I'm just saying basically you can call it gun so once you've called it gun or whatever deselect or a press L on the mag okay create a new vertex group name it mag Assign it, do whatever you want to call it, call it whatever you want. And you can do it for the pullback as well. But I'm not doing that. I'm just doing it very basic and all. Bye-bye. Uh, you can do that, actually, really? Oh, wow. Uh, shit. Okay. So here, you've got your gun positioned and everything. Just going to load that. Um, you want to just, yeah, that looks really good. Bake textures, bake the objects. Okay. Now, wait, does this look okay? Yeah, that looks relatively fine. Looks pretty low. Okay, that looks good. Now you want to uh, click on your bone, which is like the hands, press tab, you'll get into the bone mode. So you've got two choices. If you're using Hyper's model, Hyper Metal model, you can either click on this, which will give you the option to, you know, this rotate looking thingy here, or you can create a bone which is what I'm gonna do so you wanna press shift A it's gonna create a little bone here now you want to sorry about that just put it there yeah boom you want to just select the whole model uh... go down okay so it'll look like this you want to scale it however you like so control alt s 
So it should look like this. And this is for the mag, so you can also use this. Press just press Shift D, makes the bone. Press S to make it smaller, and you can just put it into the mag. So this is a new technique. So if you've seen my videos, that was not the technique I was using. I was f just trying to get the model aligned with the hands and everything. It was not easy, but this way, since I watched tutorials, made everything really easy for me. I'm putting it in the handle. Let's just flip that around. Yeah, okay, it looks like that. That's fine. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that, uh, that's actually good. So, before you do anything else, hit tab, uh, press A, hit L on your mag. Because if it's a weapon like this, you can see, d don't worry about the uh, bones not doing anything because they're, they're not supposed to do anything yet. You can see the whole weapon is a just an object. Just one mesh. But select tab, make sure you got it selected, press P and press selection. This will separate your magazine. So it now looks, it's, it, it's separated. So you can separate the mag now. So just look, you can separate it now. So it's separated and everything. So yeah, there you go. So now what you're going to do is you're going to hit the object and hold shift and click on the bone. Control P and hit bone. Once that's done, don't mind that. You see the bone should be moving now. The mag should also be moving. Now you can rest it. It should look like that now. It should be moving. If it doesn't move, you've probably done something wrong. Now you click on your gun. Do the exact same thing. what okay there we go control P bone there you go it should now be moving along with the bone so there you go that that is simple rig right there now you want to rig the pair of hands I know I can't do it for some reason nicely okay I'll do it like am I doing something wrong Yeah, that's how I do it now. <laughs> I'm so retarded. Now you want to just put the pair of hands onto the gun the way you like it. Now some hands may be, you know, well connected together like that. You see it goes into the mag. Just pull it down a bit don't put it all the way down like that or else it'll look like someone broke his finger and now it's just hanging loose so just pull it down a bit like that yeah that looks nice oh kind of so that will happen so you want to just pull this one out a bit if that happens uh, boom that that should that should good that should be good it should look like that now just do the exact same for uh these just may take a moment just do it for the exact yep like that I'm a beginner, so this is a beginner's tutorial as well to simply begin. If you if you've seen Hypers, his is just straight to professional. It's it's not easy. So it's best you start off easy, learning how to do all of it, then you go on to hard. So it's now that if you press this, you can move the gun together. So that that's the point of the bone. You need it. And what is this bone doing? Does it have a purpose? Or is it just there to just annoy? Yes, it's there to annoy us. Be gone, peasant. There it is. Let's 
gone. Be gone. Be gone forever and ever and ever. No one will ever find you. There you go, it's gone. Done for life. Okay, uh, let me just put my mouse cursor somewhere that it doesn't distract me. Okay, now you want to do, you want to rig this hand. I used to do my animations like, like this, because I didn't know how to do anything. What do you know when you're a beginner? You don't know anything. Uh, okay, what have I done? What have I done? Alright, that looks pretty good for just the rig. Okay, that is just going in. Alright, we want to just move that out. You can do it the way you like to rig. It doesn't matter how you do it. You don't have to do it the exact same as me. That looks just a bit weird. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I've got to say, I've never done anything good. And I've kind of got to do this for one of my schools, you know. So while in the process, why not just show people how the hell to do something like this? Because there's people maybe wondering, I'm having some trouble. I need help. Okay, I've been only animating for a couple of months. Alright, so that's how you rig your gun. That is how you do it. If you guys uh, kind of enjoyed, if you want a second part for animation, you know, just a basic animation and texture, just.